Stop talking about it. Stop dreaming about it. Get on your bike and ride. What's going on YouTube? FX Dallas Brooklyn is back in the building. Coming at you from Lake Placid up in the Adirondack Mountains and how did we get here? Let's get on this bike and let's get moving. Oh man, I remember last time I was here, it was 2020 with the old man. And this, this block was crazy, man. I guess it's a Monday, it's calmed down a little bit. But yeah, this is like tourist central over here. But yeah, I, I'm making this video because I've been out on my bike all day. Yeah, you know, I put in not that many miles, how many? 278 miles, you know, it's not nothing crazy. But I'm on my bike all day. This isn't anything new. It definitely happens more with this bike, just given how crazy I've kind of gone with this bike. And, you know, generally it's not a bike that you see every day. <laughs> so it gets, um, gets a lot of attention and people want to talk about it a lot. But this topic and this thing I'm going to talk about is actually something that used to happen even back in like 2016, just when, you know, this bike was pretty close to stock. And what I'm talking about here is when I do bike trips, and even I'm doing one really short right now, like this, I'm only in the Adirondacks, I'm not far from home. It's still a bike trip, I still packed it up, I'm still camping the night and everything. But every time I do these bike trips, and you roll into town, or you roll in to get dinner or whatever, you always got guys that want to come up to you and want to talk to you about the bike. It's a lot of times guys who do not have bikes themselves, guys who either do not have bikes themselves or have a bike but their bike is at home or in the garage or something like that, you know? And the conversation is usually the same, you know? If it's um, someone who doesn't actually own a motorcycle, then the conversation is usually like, oh, you know, I've always wanted a motorcycle, and then they start to list X, Y, and Z factors of why they uh, couldn't actually go out and fulfill their uh, dream or whatever, or wants of owning a motorcycle one day. That's one situation. The second scenario is it's somebody that owns a motorcycle, right? And then they're looking at me and my bike longingly, just being like, yeah, I wish I was on my bike right now. You know, I wish I was out today. It's beautiful out here, you know, but then they start to list X, Y, and Z of why they're not riding or why they're not doing bike trips, right? Now, usually when you cross paths with people at the gas stations and the rest stops that are doing the bike trips, there's not much to talk about in that regard. You know, if anything, maybe it's like, yo, what's up? Where are you coming from? You know, there's not this like longing. There's almost this sadness in some of the voices and the sentiments of what I hear from some of the folks who approach me. And I could, in a way I could empathize, right? Because when I'm out <laughs> doing non-motorcycle related things, yeah, that does happen in my life <laughs> quite a bit. So I'm not literally on a motorcycle all the time. I do have a life outside of riding, believe it or not, as much of a lifestyle as this is. But when I, when I am doing things and I'm just hoofing it, right? Or I'm just doing something that's not motorcycle related. I get it. Because like if I, if I see a bike on the street, I'm always going to look at it. You know, if, if it's something that's really interesting, I'm going to talk to the owner about it and ask some questions and BS. And a part of me is always looking at it just being like, yeah, I wish I was on my bike right now. I wish I was riding. So I can empathize, right? But I more tailor this video if you're someone, because I do have a lot of new riders, and the thing that more surprises me is I have subscribers on this that either do not own a motorcycle or have never ridden a motorcycle before. And then I have a bunch of subscribers that want to do bike trips but have not done the bike trips yet, right? So this is kind of like tailored towards that. And look. Whether you're someone who you've always wanted to ride a motorcycle, but you just couldn't get around to it for X, Y, and Z reason, or if you're someone that's always wanted to do the bike trip, but you just couldn't do it for whatever reason, then my, my feeling on the thing and my sentiment on the thing is just do it, man. 
you know, if riding a motorcycle has been a dream of yours and it's been something you've been talking about or thinking about for years, go sign up for your MSS course or go borrow your buddy's Sportster. Do something. Just, just do it just so that you can at least see what it's all about, right? Or if you're someone that wants to do the bike trips, just pack up your bike like I did this morning and you don't even have to go far, you know? Go somewhere 300 miles away. It doesn't even have to be crazy. Go somewhere new, you know? Go motorcycle camping. Do something where you can get some solitude and reflection. Don't be the type of person that has this idea and has this quote unquote dream but never actually gets to seize it and instead just talks about seizing it or talks to people who are doing the thing, you know? Don't be that person because as most of us know who live this motorcycle lifestyle, this thing that we call life is a flash. It's very short. And if there's something you want to do, you got to seize it while you can because the doors to opportunity, yes, some doors close, other doors open, but again, life goes by fast, man. And if you want to do something, if you want to try something new, etc., you got to seize that, right? And yeah, I know there's a lot of you where it's like, oh, but the safety concerns, you know, if I get into a wreck, it's pretty serious. Yeah, that's, um, that's real, right? That's definitely real. You know, it's like every season I have Every season I know people who are going down and who are involved in, um, in bad wrecks, right? It's just, it's part of the game, unfortunately, you know, and it's just, you know, you want to, you want to play, you have to pay, and I, I'm not immune to that, you know, I've had incidents on my bikes, nothing catastrophic, but I've had incidents, and as careful as I am, and as much riding as I do, and as much experience, I'm not immune to calamity, you know? If someone decides to run a red light or run a stop sign, my reflexes and my peripheral vision are only so good, right? If a deer if a deer gets scared and decides to bolt out, I could only react so quickly to that. You know, so it's just kind of part of the game. But I oftentimes, when I talk to friends about this who want to ride the bike but are really hesitant because of the safety concern, I usually draw to my own experience with jujitsu, where it's up, it could be a dangerous thing. Like I've gotten, you know, I'm, I'm still pretty low level. I'm by no means an experienced uh, grappler in jujitsu. You know, that's kind of why I like it because I still have the beginner's mindset to it. But I've gotten so many injuries, man, over the years I've been doing it, you know, and that's just the name of the game, but, you know, I like to quote uh, one of the BJJ channels that, that I like, Jiu Jitsu, and it's like, at the end of the day, you know, when you're ready to buy the farm, do you want your body to have, like, some serious scars, some serious miles, signs of living, right? Or do you want your body to be this, like low mileage, pristine, never took it out, never ripped on it, you know? Because I know which category I'm in, man. I want to, when it comes time to buy the farm, I want to know that I put in my miles. I want to know that I had my phone, and that's how I feel about it, you know? And nothing out there is without risks whatever you're doing nothing is risk free whatever it is so there's ways to mitigate risk and yeah but I'm like getting seriously off topic here <laughs> I, I'm only making this video just because I had, this is the first bike trip I've done probably since April so it's been a while since I've 
been approached by a lot of people in that manner. So I figured, again, it just had me really thinking about that. Because, again, there's a lot of guys that come up to you, guys and gals, where you can kind of just see the sadness and the longing in their eyes for uh, wanting to be doing the thing you're doing. Because, like, it doesn't get more free than this, you know? I can't really think of too many feelings of freedom that compare to riding a motorcycle on a bike trip by yourself in anywhere in the United States. <laughs> As we pull into Saranac Village. But yeah, that's my rant on that. I'm gonna close it out there. As always, stay safe out there, stay low. Practice positive mental attitude. Seize your dreams and aspirations. Don't wait till tomorrow, do it today.